Wild updates and rumors for Doctor Strange 2 into the multiverse of madness. This movie's gonna be f***ing nuts. What's up everybody, it's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button. Let's get right into this video. The first and most recent crazy bit of news comes from Doctor Strange himself. Benedict Cumberbatch literally just said in an interview when he will start filming for Doctor Strange 2 and it's much sooner than any of us thought. In a new interview with Watchtime India, he said this. I'm in pre-production with the second Doctor Strange film, which is very exciting. We will start filming in late October or early November. Um, what the what? So the biggest takeaway from that is that they're going to have so much time to make this freaking movie. I remember when we lost Scott Derrickson on that project, many Marvel fans were worried. I mean, you know, we we're bringing Sam Raimi in, but that movie was going to move into production rather quickly. And I think there was even crunch back then, like Sam Raimi talking about getting ready, getting acclimated to the project, understanding the ins and outs of it and everything like that. And now not only has the film been pushed back, but it looks like they're going to begin filming even before some other big Marvel movies out there, which is incredible. And the more we're hearing about Doctor Strange 2 Under the Multiverse of Madness, the more I'm very pleased that they are getting this kind of time. And so they're going to start principal, like around the time that we actually get to see The Mandalorian. That's insanity. All right, so next up, let's talk about a couple of the rumors out there. And I want to just give like a slight spoiler warning. These are rumors, but there are rumors coming from some pretty good insiders. So they potentially will ruin some things. Thanks for Doctor Strange 2. If you don't want any spoilers, get on out of here. But here we go. Hydra Captain America. According to Daniel Rixman on his Patreon, he talked about how Marvel is considering placing Captain America of Hydra as one of the Captain Americas from another reality in Doctor Strange 2. And this more or less tracks with a lot of things we've heard about Doctor Strange 2, mostly all the crazy multiverse stuff. I mean, that Tom Cruise rumor is actually a real legitimate rumor. They haven't, you know, signed that yet. Tom Cruise hasn't signed on the dotted line. There's still time for that to work itself out. But they absolutely want Tom Cruise as Iron Man. And another big rumor that is attached to this Hydra Cap rumor, at least seemingly attached to me, is is the John Krasinski thing. Now, John Krasinski's name has been attached to Marvel for a long, long time. Many people have been fan casting this guy as Reed Richards, as the Fantastic Four. You know, they really want him and Emily Blunt, etc., etc. But we know that he has met with Marvel before, and he even got sized for a Captain America suit. This guy was going to be Captain America. And so I guess what I'm saying is, ladies and gentlemen, it is possible that while most Marvel fans were expecting to see John Krasinski as Reed Richards, they will instead see him as Hydra Captain America, a completely vile, evil version of Cap from the comics. Frankly, I'm here for it. I mean, that's super wild, and we're going to have so much time to speculate about all the different craziness they could put into this movie. But I next want to move into the casting of Miss Marvel, okay? So a relative unknown person was cast for Miss Marvel, a young lady named Iman. Uh, she was picked up, I guess, after doing some kind of stop-motion fan film, and literally Feige saw it, and now she will literally be our Miss Marvel. And that's really cool and we wish him on uh, good luck and we will be breaking down Young Avengers Miss Marvel in those shows when we get more info on them. But I think what's really important to talk about with this story juxtaposed against the Tom Cruise and, uh, you know, John Krasinski rumors is this fact that it looks as though Marvel is really going for unknowns or you know, relatively unknown actors and actresses for their big roles. It looks like what the philosophy is, is they're comfortable with getting an A-lister for a cameo, you know, being one of the villains, you know, you look at what they're doing with Christian Bale, likely he's just in and out unless they forced him and, and got him to sign that big contract. But also with Tom Cruise and with someone like a John Krasinski or whomever else they get, you know, Hugh Jackman Wolverine is actually legitimately rumored at this point. Um, but if they did get those people, it would likely be for, you know, just the cameo, maybe two movies at the most. But when it comes to the core characters of the 616 universe and the characters that Feige wants to have around for a long time and put them on Disney Plus and put them in a movie, he is going after unknown actors. And I think this is 
something that we're going to see more and more of because at this point the Marvel brand in the MCU but also just the characters from Marvel Comics are so much stronger than any one individual actor and as we move forward especially in this weird post pandy world where movies might not ever make the same amount of money it's a much smarter plan to go with relatively unknown actors and actresses and so I'm just kind of seeing the evidence for this and I'm wondering what you think of this so let us know your thoughts as a fan and then the last thing I wanted to talk about with regards to Multiverse of Madness, but just in general, the multiverse as we move forward, you know, heading towards that Secret Wars, you know, kind of battle world thing that I think is happening is Sony. And so there's a lot of weird things going on right now with Sony and Marvel. Okay. Most recently, there were advertisements for Disney Plus that had Sony movies on them Spider Man Homecoming, you know, Far From Home, etc. And so that is legitimately weird there were also comments earlier in the year made by writers on sony projects that were television thinking that they would come out on disney plus they literally said that they could have misspoke but regardless it happened there's also olivia wilde talking about the spider woman movie and how kevin feige is involved with it and then there were new reports even yesterday claiming that sony is still very interested in crossing over with the mcu via the multiverse this all makes sense and it could potentially play a big role in doctor strange 2 what if doctor strange 2 is not just going to deal with mcu multiverse things you know crazy a-list celebrity cameos putting in the wildest elseworld versions of the characters that marvel has licensed to but what if we see the Spider-Verse also play a role in that film. What I have heard and what is being talked about by other insiders is the fact that Kevin Feige wants to blow the Flash movie out of the water. The Flash movie is doing some really cool stuff with the DC multiverse, and Feige has now doubled down, wanting to make Doctor Strange 2 into the multiverse of madness even better. And so I expect this film to be absolutely insane, and, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got a major Sony crossover and crossover with awesome A-list cameos of, you know, Elseworld versions of the characters we love. But that's the news and the speculation. I want to know what you think about all of this, so let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And now let's shout out Dustin Bates. Yes, indeed, it was the Brotherhood of Darkness that discovered Bane. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know what Marvel character did John Krasinski's wife, Emily Blunt, try out for? If you like this video, make sure you drop a like on it. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you're definitely going to want to change that. If you're enjoying the content over here, you will absolutely love the live streams we do straight from Nerdvengers Tower, Monday through Friday, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.